What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're going to continue to learn about Combine. Specifically, we'll take a look at the Timer Publisher. So as the name implies, this publisher publishes an event based on a timer value, so some time interval. So here's the app we're going to build. Basically, every second it publishes, the, the publisher publishes, and we change the background color. So it's pretty commonly used. It's pretty simple to set up. If that all sounds good, make sure you start by absolutely smashing that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and haven't done so already. Let's get into the timer publisher in Combine. Let's begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and give this a name of Timer Publisher. Make sure your language is set to Swift and we're going to change the lifecycle to UI Kit and the interface storyboard. We'll be working programmatically. Go ahead and save the project wherever you'd like. I'll toss it onto my desktop. And first things first, let me go ahead and close this right panel here and also expand my Xcode window. So using the timer publisher is actually very simple. So we're going to jump into the view controller and what we're going to do basically every second that passes, we're going to change the background color of our view. So let me actually go ahead and just run this in a 12 Pro Max simulator right there. And while that's building, we can also go ahead and import combine since that's where we're going to get our uh, actual publishers and our subscribers and all that good stuff from. So here is our app. It's an empty white UI as expected. So let's set up this publisher. We're going to create a function here and this is going to say set up publisher. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this from the bottom of view did load. And let's go ahead and use that timer publisher. So what we can go ahead and say is timer dot publisher and you can see that there's a couple of different things available to you uh, via autocomplete and actually what we want is publish and there's a couple of things here so there's every on there's tolerance the one we're going to look at is every on in so this is basically saying hey timer publish every one second on the main run loop and let's see, in run loop mode, we're gonna use either common here or default. Both are pretty common to use. And basically now we wanna actually do something every time we get this published value. But before we do that, let's go ahead and say, we wanna receive this on the main thread because we're gonna be updating the UI. So we can go ahead and say, go ahead and receive this uh, subscription on the main thread. And then now we can go ahead and say sync, which is basically observing the published value. And we're gonna get a received value here, which is going to be a timer.timePublisher output, which I don't really personally care about, so we'll do underscore. And then in this block, we're gonna actually change the background color. Now, before we do that, you'll notice that we're getting a warning here. And the first warning, rather the warning that we're getting is we need to store the uh, subscription that's being returned by timer.publisher, just like any other publisher in Combine. So I'm gonna have an array on here. We can go ahead and uh, say store maybe, and this is going to be an array of any cancelable and it'll be empty by default. And we can go ahead and say, hey, go ahead and store this in our store just like that. And let's see, that warning should go away. And now all that's left to do is update our background color. So let's go ahead and create an array of colors here. I will pick a random one every time and assign it to our view. So we'll say colors is an array of UI color. And this will be a collection pretty simple nothing too fancy going on here let's go ahead and just add in a couple colors here we'll say system green system blue system pink let's go ahead and add a couple more for variety so we don't have to look at the same color over and over let's see what did i miss green and let's also go ahead and add in red and now we can actually use this so in our sync down below i can go ahead and say self.view its background color is going to be our colors 
dot random element go ahead and hit command b and you're going to notice an error right off the bat here and it's saying reference to property colors enclosure requires explicit self which makes sense so we want to go ahead and say weak self here and we can make this self we can also make this self optional now the optionality the weak self retention is to avoid a memory leak uh, but you would have needed self either way if I didn't do weak self, but that would just leak memory if we capture it uh, in a strong capacity. So let's go ahead and give this a run and let's see if our colors change every second. All right, bear with the simulator here. Can't tell if it's done loading or not, but we should start seeing different colors, hopefully. Ah, the reason we don't see them, and this is a good call out actually, we've set up this publisher, but we haven't told it to start publishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and say auto connect. And what auto connect is gonna do is it's gonna automatically start the subscription from that publisher. And now you'll see every second that the color is indeed changing. So that was a good call out. If you don't have auto connect, timers don't get kicked off by themselves. You need to either say auto connect or you need to call uh, start on the timer so it can start publishing uh, every interval that you have supplied. So that is the timer publisher in combined. It's really simple to use. The syntax is pretty similar to how you would traditionally use a timer, so hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to smash the like button down below, helps out a lot. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and into iOS and Swift, and comment and let me know if you're into Combine, RX Swift, Reactor Programming, as well as any other video suggestions you might have. That being said, and this uh, color flashing getting annoying, we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.